I've felt this even when he was scoring all his goals at the start of the season. He's obviously still well ahead in the top goal scoring ranks. But I think we've only seen 60% of Erlen Haaland. You think of that goal he scored at West Ham on the first game of the season, where he just, the space in behind, he makes that run. Now, I know that's not there that often because of the way City play, but he's come from a league in Borussia Dortmund where it's a counter-attacking league and it's end-to-end, -end, and you see that blister and pace that he's got. We don't see it. And... He may have actually picked the wrong club to actually get the best out of him. You, you, really, you lie, you la you're laughing, but what I'm saying is we're not seeing everything of Erlen Haaland. And Manchester City now, not because of Erlen Haaland, we can say they're a different team, but they've scored exactly the same amount of goals. So he scored 25 Premier League goals, but Man City as a team have still scored the same amount of goals. But they've conceded more, and it's far easier to counter-attack them as well. So they're a different team and a lesser team with Erlen Haaland in the team. But again, it's not his fault. Manchester City as a team will not play end-to-end -end football. It's not Pep Guardiola's way. He hasn't. His players don't have the energy or the power or the pace to play end-to-end. -end. They build up slowly and they push the opposition back to the edge of the box and they play from there. And when they lose it, they win it back quickly and they keep people hemmed in. Now, Erlen Haaland will sc still score 25 league goals. A lot of those are coming across and he's putting it in. But we're not seeing the full package of what this player can do because of the team that he's actually gone to. And that's but the it's, way impossible, to... it's impossible to see the, the full package, though, because when teams play against Man City, they, they, they go deep. Do you know what I mean? We, 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 we go deep because Man City... Uh, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, what Jim is talking as an individual. about is I'm coming short on the halfway line. Yeah, but we're, talking, we're, talking, no, about, we're talking about a striker who's got 25 long. goals. He won't and get today, that in today, he didn't, today, he didn't have his greatest game. I'll agree with you. He didn't have no, no touches in, in the opposition box. No, that, that, that's I, 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 get, I get that, but this is, this is what the Premier League is. He knows what Man City do. They dominate the ball, like you've said. They recycle it and, and, and wait for the space in the box. I would, I would understand your argument more if he'd only scored 15 goals. Or so. But he scored tw 25 goals too. He's still getting the, not, the numbers. I'm not criticising him. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is... Him as a full package when we're talking about one of the best players in the world, I think we're actually, he's that good, he scored 25 goals, we're actually probably only seeing 60 or 70% of him because we're not seeing that, that power, that blister and pace. And I get it because of the way Manchester City play. But we've got to come back to the fact that no matter how many goals he scores as an individual, the team's bigger than any individual. Mm -hmm. Manchester City have scored exactly the 53. same amo amount of goals this season. So when so I, he's, he's got, he's got, got 50% of them. It's, exactly. it's, just, it's just different, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's but, it's but is it better, Mike? But it's not better, is it? It, it, it's different. You but is it better? Be it, it, well, it's not about being better or, or not. We'll see at the end of the it's, season. It's not what better. It, it, it's it, not better. It's different. It doesn't look as, as, as good. It's not as tidy on the eye. It's not coming into the, the false nine and, and, and playing off different positions. It's not that. But in front of goal, it, it's potent. The, the, the attack hasn't changed. The, same, the, the goals are there. Haaland's been sensational, the goals that he's got. The problem for Manchester City that was massive today was how easy they are now to counter-attack and get at. And maybe that's because they've got a fellow who plays right up front. He's maybe not in that midfield position to actually stop a counter-attack. It's far easier to get at Manchester City now, as we saw today, and that's the big problem. Well, let you speak. There's... there's what you're referring to is a centre forward coming off the centre back, spinning up on the halfway line, spinning a long ball over the top. What I'm talking about, and he won't get that at City, he'll never get that at City, because that's not how they play. But you can't say you've got a striker with his movement, his aggression, his timing, his football intelligence, that he can't get goals in this team. I, I'm not blaming him in the slightest. I'm blaming the two wide players and midfield players who have taken too many touches and are not giving him it as quick and as accurately as he wants. These Great, players, are, But these players are more than capable Great, of doing Great, it. You, you, you've played in teams, so you've you won numerous titles, and you've got a way of going, a way of playing, a way that you do things at Liverpool, and then you bring a player in. Do, do, how does it work in terms of who has to adapt more? So I'm not being critical of anyone. Haaland's done his job. Man City have won four titles in five years, doing a certain way. Who, who should be adapting more to who? Who should be changing for who? I think he's got 25 goals already. If I was offering, if, if, if I was at Man City, I'd be saying to the manager, "We've got to let's utilise them. Let's let's mm. use them to his best of his ability." Right now, they're not. They're not getting the ball in early enough. Ask any striker. Ask any of the strikers that played today. Any striker you'd ever meet. What do you want? I want it quick and early. You know, you hear stories about strikers complaining all the time. The ball goes wide. They make a run. The guy threatens to cross it and he pulls out, so the centre-forward comes out. Then he goes down again, he threatens, and they go again, he doesn't cross it. That, that, they go mad with that. Haaland is the best in the world of his type of centre-forward. 
but they're not utilising it. It's the, the I, play, I think, I think it's a football, bit of both. Trying to score the perfect goal. He scored 25 goals. At times, I played in a team where we were regarded as the passing team, and we were accused all the time of trying to, only when we lost or drew by, our, by the staff, we were accused all the time of trying to score the perfect goal. If you watch Man City play, that is the accusation you'd make against them. They're trying to score the perfect goal all the time. When you've got someone with assets that Haaland has, use them.